y'all. So I said I was going to start doing my story time because when I be telling my little stories and stuff to my clients about stuff that happened to me like back in the day and stuff, they just be cracking it up. So I'm going to tell y'all the story about the one time that Floyd Mayweather helped me pay my rent, okay? So I go to this club. Me and my girlfriend, my girlfriend loves Floyd Mayweather, right? So we go to this club in Philly. I think it was called Zandu at the time. I, I'm not 100% sure, but it was at, um, like, Delaware and Spring Garden. Like, that was always, like, the popping club right there on the corner. So, Floyd was there that day. And he came in. When he came in, he had, like, these duffel bags. Now, back then, you know, it was the thing. The thing to do was to throw money in the club. Now, this wasn't no strip club. It wasn't no strippers. It wasn't no naked chicks or nothing in there. But, you know, people used to, you know, have a good time in the club. And then when it would be popping and everybody dancing, it would be super crowded. People start throwing money. But a lot of times, like, especially if it was, like, regular guys or, like, the drug dealers or whatever, they was throwing ones. But this particular night that we was at the uh, club... Floyd was throwing hundreds. Like, people was like, um, oh, like I heard on the radio station the next day, they was like, oh, Floyd was out there throwing fake money, this, that, and the third. He was not throwing no fake money because I definitely caught two of them $100 bills and I put that towards my rent, okay? But at any rate, so we in there, we in the club, and it had like this little balcony thing, but it wasn't too high from where the people was at the bottom. And I just happened to be standing like right beneath like where you know where where he was at or whatever now at the time i didn't know what was going on you know i just thought i didn't know if they was his pocketbooks i didn't know what i didn't know what was going on at the time but the next thing i know it starts snowing hundred dollar bills so let me tell y'all too about male groupies like this was my like i was in my like mid-20s at this time so i'm like looking around like oh my god like I can't believe like this man like when I seen him coming down and they was hundreds like y'all no lie the men was knocking them chicks out okay let me tell you they was dropping they was dropping the elbows on them they was knocking them chicks out getting Floyd money okay the guys got the majority of that money and like I'm 5'10 so the only reason why I caught two of them hundred dollar bills was because I was tall and they literally landed right directly on me but they was not letting them chicks, the bouncers, and everybody. Because, like, where he was at, like, it was, like, bouncers standing, like, on that lower level. But, like, right in the front. And they was, like, blocking the chicks. They was pushing them real hard. And they was knocking them all around. Like, really, they was ready to square up to catch Floyd money. So, I don't know if they tried to put that rumor out there that the money was fake because... You know, the dudes got the majority of it. But I think they were saying that he threw, like, 250. I'm not 100% sure. But they were saying, like, he threw, like, 250,000. I'm not 100% sure. But I do know that I caught $200 bills. But I feel like I would have caught more if the guys wasn't all super aggressive and knocking everybody all around. Because, literally, the money just fell on me. I was like, thank you, God. Like, I needed this. But... I was just so appalled by the male groupies in there because they were, like, first of all, obviously, I mean, Floyd probably was just, you know, doing his thing or whatever, but I don't know if he was doing that for the men. I, I, I mean, you never know at this point, but the men definitely got the majority of their money, and I was just like looking at them, I was embarrassed and ashamed for my city that night because them guys, I mean, they was all over the floor. I guess a $100 bill is a $100 bill going to anybody, but y'all shouldn't have been giving it up like that. Y'all should have let them girls get their money, okay? But at any rate, I just wanted to tell y'all that story because I just thought it was so crazy. But thank you, Floyd, for helping me pay my rent, okay? Because... I was young, I was a mom, and that little $200 came in handy, okay?